but notice where he was at. He missed it. He missed that overhand. Can we, can we rewind that real quick? He missed that overhand. Boom. You see, but he was in range where he was able to get all the power that he had. But Israel was, was clearly beating him. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Fight Feedback, where I am going to be breaking down Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira. Let me tell you guys something. I have made a lot of my predictions in the past just according to the clips. I never really had a chance to sit down and actually watch fight one and fight two. I got a lot of slack on Twitter. I don't like it, but you know what? I'm loyal to you fans, so I'm going to watch it live and you guys are going to hear it from me. So now let's take it to the screen. Okay, so here we have the first fight. Israel Adesanya versus Alexander Pereira. I tell you what, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yes, I didn't watch the fight, but I saw a bunch of clips, so I decided to make my conclusion off these small little clips. But thanks to you fans, thanks to all you cringers, you guys let me have it. So you know what? As much as I can give it, I can also take it too. So here I am. We are going to watch Alexander Pereira versus Israel Adesanya. One, let's hit the play button. I'm gonna test that. Ooh, let's see the little. Ooh, little. That's super close. Not trying to make it cringy, but all right. Here we go. Seems like a lot of people. What is this? It had to be in Asia somewhere, huh? Probably China. Okay, beginning of the fight. Right away, right away, you notice he's coming aggressive. Israel's kind of, ooh, beautiful kick. Boom, came back with those kicks. You guys, have to, you guys have to keep in mind though, like every time you do strike, even though the, the opponents may not be feeling anything, I mean, it's still, when you hit the right spot, it uh, compensates uh, the opponent. Ooh, nice hook. He's, a he's not afraid of Israel. He's not. He, he, I can sense right away he's not afraid of this man's power. Yeah. Jab. Nice kick by Israel. And that's where I feel like the fight could be the difference. The first fight is now with the kicks. Yeah, going to the body. Right now, especially in the beginning of the fights, like this is this is where fighters start to really engage. Beautiful cap kick there. This is where fighters really start to engage. Nice kick by Israel. This is where fighters start to kind of engage and really understand the distance game of one each other. But these guys are going at it right away. You know. This is where a lot of the fight will change too, is, uh, but the, where the fights could change a lot too is when people are actually doing this, where they're actually protecting themselves, you know, but, but luckily none of, none, neither one of them have takedowns, so I think this fight's gonna just continue to be like this. Ooh, nice counter, if you guys caught, they threw that jab, he came back with that overhand. If you notice too, when Israel's pressing, he's having more success with Pereira. You know, now now that the gear, even though it's only been you know minutes into the fight, as he presses, he starts to have more success. Because right now, to me, the ball is rolling more towards uh, Pereira's side. You know, you always want to break down a fight and see it as a competitor. Don't, don't obviously you got the sport, but you got to see it just based on who's winning the leverage game. You know, you have to be careful keeping that arm. Ooh, beautiful jab. There's that crazy hook. Yep, nice, nice kick. Ooh, he's always hunting. If you notice, Perez is always hunting for that kick. I'm sorry, always hunting for that hook. You know, he's kicked him more, he's done more. Round one is pretty self-explanatory. I am giving it to the one and only Alexander Pereira. Beautiful job, took in the knees, got more punches, counter him with that, with that overhand off of his jab. 
I think Israel was kind of maybe playing a little too much. Or maybe he's trying to understand and get that feel. But so far, I have Pereira winning this fight. Or winning this round, I'm sorry. These are the exchanges blocked, blocked everything. But you know what? Uh, I think the more success that Israel had that round is he, he calf kicked him of, of, uh, maybe I think a few times. And all that stuff adds up, guys. But just, just looking at round one, it seems like Pereira was really able to mix a lot of the stuff that he was doing, which says a lot about him. You know, he's always making you think high, always making you think low, and then all of a sudden he comes in with that power shot, that power left hook. You know, oh, beautiful kick by Israel. Right away. You know, there, that dude, that hook is vicious, man. This dude's like, he's not respecting it as much. You know, going high, going low. Beautiful transition of mixing things. Nice body by Israel. won't be able to get away with that stuff you know this is kickboxing everybody gets you back on the feet but if you do that this dude gets on top of you Ooh, nice high low good right hand it almost seems like so far like like Israel's like like he's not necessarily respecting Israel's power like, you, you know what I'm saying like when 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 Israel hits almost like he doesn't move him yep there goes that crazy hook there goes that crazy hook and when somebody's confident with something and they just eventually throw and they take risks, that's when they have more opportunity of, of landing it. Oh. Yup, there's takedowns in here. And that's gonna be the difference in MMA is who could take each other down. Yup, it seems like Israel's, Israel's putting the pressure. Yup. But, but notice like the more Israel presses Alexander, Alessandre, he's uh, he's having more uh, he's having more success. You know what I'm saying? Some guys can fight backwards. Some guys, and these are the things that you have to pinpoint. Yep. Ooh, caught him with that hook. I don't know if you guys caught that. Ooh, again. Ooh, those are three right hands right there, straight to the chin. If you ain't seen Foggy after that or, or a Buzzy, then ooh, nice uppercut, good at the body. Yeah, those are unnecessary kicks by Israel, honestly. Oof. Notice the up. Oof, again. It's the power, man. The power is a difference. Yeah, Israel could land, but it's the power when this man throws that he ends up hurting Israel. Ooh, those are one two deep one twos. Notice every time Israel gets hit, there's a lean, you know. And those are the things that the judges tend to see. No, nothing. Didn't catch that knee. Good attempt. I thought Israel could have probably, uh, I thought uh, <sighs> round two, round two, I want to say Israel, but I felt like at the very, very end, it seemed like, uh, it seems like Alex ended up stealing it with more of the power shots. Boom. You see what I'm saying? Making somebody go backwards like that. Yeah, he had more volume, but I got to go with the guy that had, that was more precise with the stuff missed. See what I'm saying? And this is the bad habit that Israel has, is he leans. You lean like that, these judges will score it different. You know, you're, 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 not, you're not fighting for the fans, bro. You're fighting to convey to the judges that you damn won, and that's the difference. So right now, I'm gonna have to go two, zero, pareira, pareira. Stole it at the very end, especially in the last maybe 30 seconds with the combinations. More effective. 
but he had more value. Boom. Started off with the kick, kick, kick. When somebody typically hits you with the exact same thing, it's because it hurt. Yup, going up, going, going body. Oh, nice, nice, uh, nice one too from Israel. Yep, calf kick. Nice, Israel. Finally starts getting his head cocking back. There it goes again. He he covers distance, throws that short left to eventually land with that loopy uh, left hook. Oh, body. Ooh, elbow, and if he has caught that spinning back. Oof, I can, he, he, when he throws that hook, man, that hook is like a powerful right hand. Mm, nice knee by Israel. Yep, he's noticed that hook, and that hook is, it's just a matter of time. I think if he could smoke it, smoke it, set it up first with maybe a half jab dip, go uh, go hook, I think that's uh, I think that's money. Right now, the leverage this round, Israel, Israel's having more value once again, just as he did in the, just as he did in the second, but lost it towards the second, uh, towards the end of the second round, which, which this match stole it. Israel. Ooh, nice uppercut. Yeah, uh, Alex has to be careful with all that spinning stuff. Unnecessary energy, especially in MMA. Ooh, there goes, there he goes again. This is where he, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm first time I've seen the fight, but this is, this is where around this time when he starts to pick up the pace. Shoulder rolling in MMA doesn't work, man. Ooh, you see, now he's thinking power. Pera is now thinking power. Nice. 2-1. 2-1? Pereira. Pereira. He won it. I think, I think Israel, if he would have, if he would have solidified that second round very good, he would have, he would have won this fight. In the third round, he came back and he, uh, you know, he, 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 I don't, sometimes I don't know if Israel really understands his length too. I think sometimes he gets too close and he smothers his stuff. A, a lot of it was kind of ricking Shane off the glove. Like I said before, guys, watching this fight, uh, it, it was a lot closer and Israel was right. I mean, watching it now, first 10, um, he did lose this fight. And uh, be because of this man, of what he did towards the end of the second two, but it's still it. And yeah, Israel did win the third, but that first round was all Pereira, man. It was all his fight. So for that reason, I am going 2-1 Pereira, the Brazilian nightmare. Next! Well, here you have it, guys. The second fight. Obviously, we all know the outcome of what happened, but let's really take a glance and let's really take... A look at this fight to see for ourselves. Play! Alright, so I imagine, was this in China again? Yeah. Oh, Pereira's a little older. Okay, second fight here. Yep, started off with the kick. Pereira always starts forward, man. Always starts. Boom.
Yeah, Israel, Israel has a hard time going backwards. Oh, there it is. There comes that sledgehammer. You know, there comes that sledgehammer. This is where Israel's good when he's in the center or he's taking everything forward. Yeah, he's dipping his he's dipping his head. His his stance is a little too forward, man. Well, you got to be careful. again I think that'll definitely pay dividends for him but they do fight nice but is he returned that means he felt it when you feel something you're gonna you're gonna do the exact same thing oh you notice that left hook got in already that was one that was one time but body Yeah, Israel is just saying he's Israel's holding on to his mouth because he's just like he, he's staying in that fight that fight zone with a guy that throws a really good hook. And you got to be careful. Boom, nice level chance. The first time I see Israel I go high low. Best them with the kick. Notice, notice, two jabs got in. Yeah, they didn't do much, but it lets you know that he's in range for something. Look, and he continues. Oh, that's 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 twice. That's two times that he's that he's landed. Boom. And this dude just isn't respected because those last two times, it wasn't. There is not enough heat for Israel to respect that. And so far, I know there's 25 seconds left here. Oh, nice. Nice, those two beautiful right hands by Ezra. Yup, high, low. Ezra's having success, man. Ezra's having success. Oof. I'm gonna have to go with Ezra Adesanya that round. I think he stole it. He started off super good, but I'm going back. I gotta do what's right and give it to Ezra. 1-0, Ezra Arasanya. Nice. Beautiful body. But I will say this, I'm starting to see that hook. I'm, I'm Look, that, that was the first one. That was the first hook that, that he caught him with. These Chinese, man, they bringing them, they bringing them talents, dude. Hey. All right, round two. Start off with the kick. Nice. Israel's really having momentum here. Israel's really, uh, oof. He's bringing the fight, man. He's mixing it more. I can tell once you, like, once you've lost to somebody, you know, you, there's a chip on your shoulder. Good kick. So he's also fighting a little more aggressive and he's taking the center a little bit more rather than being backed up. Yep, high, low. That was, again, he caught him with that hook already. That was, uh, I think, three good hooks within a four minute span. And that just tells you something, he's not correcting it. He is not correcting this side. He's just with Southpaw. He's not correcting his right side. Yeah. Ooh, another one. Another hook. I think we're probably up to five. Five hooks. Yep, nice Israel. Beautiful kick. High, low. Look, you see it. He'll load it. Boom. You know, it's almost like a lean. Wow, Israel's actually, uh, yeah, Israel's winning this fight, man. Oof! Yup, heard him. Another one. 
body. Wow. Oh, he's hurt. He hit him with the hands, but notice, notice where Israel is having success. Stealing, taking the range from him. Bah. Wow, it's definitely a 10 count. Wow, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah, it seems like sometimes, it, sometimes it seems like if you overtrain, man, you won't be the same, you know? Because it, it seems like this fight, Alex was a little just, there's fatigue in him, and just too, too quick. Ooh, nice kick. That's cool that Israel's starting to bring in the kicks now. Nice uppercut. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Alex just hurt him with that left hook. A small little like, but that's six. Wow, two rounds to zero. Yeah, you almost want him. I don't know how it's. I don't know how the scoring's done, but that's a that's a 10-8 round. That second round. So right now it's three rounds to zero, and we're going into the third. Beautiful job by Israel. Beautiful job. As much as I'd be talking shit about Israel, he really made those adjustments, man. In that in that uh, in that second fight. He did, took more of the center, became more aggressive, didn't allow himself to get bullied. Man, where do these Chinese find these bras, huh? All right, round three, final round. He knows he's down. Look, look at you can feel the urgency. He knows he's down. Okay, there, there, there goes that hook again. Ooh, nice body knee. Oh yeah. Wow. He's out. Dude. That dude's straight flat on the ground. Bah. But notice where he was at. He missed it. He missed that overhand. Can we, can we rewind that real quick? He missed that overhand. Boom. You see, but he was in range where he was able to get all the power that he had. But Israel was, was clearly beating him. You know, but this guy, it was a mentality shift. It was a mentality shift that this man had knowing that he was down and he just brought the fight, which is what he probably should have been doing since the beginning of the fight. You know, it seems like there's animosity from the first fight to the second fight, and now leading into that third fight, it's gonna be it's gonna be nuts, man. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, he's out, dude. There's no way of coming out from that. You know, you're like, they're paralyzed. Look at how flat his draw is. Like, there's nothing him coming to the side. This motherfucker ain't doing shit either. You know, you figured he'd probably be talking. He's on his feet. You know what I mean? The dude's uh. I guess it's China. Wow. Missed it. Boom. Hook. But Israel, Israel allowed him to come in. And he just caught him, dude. He caught him with something that was super, that's his bread and butter. Is that left hook. I tell you what, guys. Looking at this fight, I think, uh, my perspectives have changed from actually watching it and i do believe israel has more of a chance now but it's really it's if you really an analyze and pinpoint that fight it's who is it that's going to be the aggressor in that fight is a person that's more likely to win because when israel was bringing the fight 
if he had more success. When this man brought the fight, this is what happened. You see, it comes down to who is it that's. And this is going to come down to uh, to skill, desire, and uh, the word that comes to mind is just will. Who has the the biggest will? Who's willing to go five rounds? Because I started seeing fatigue from this man too, watching the fight now. And Israel was still good, but at the very end, Pereira ended up winning. So this fight changes my perspective just a little bit, which makes it a little more confusing. But I am going to say that the aggressor, the person that fights more, that brings the fight more, is more likely going to win. Because both of these guys, it's harder for them to fight backwards. And there you have it. You guys just watch this episode of Fight Feedback. I'm your host, Triple C, a.k.a. Henry Cejudo. And we are out. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!